Hey, welcome everybody to our last YouTube live look in of the 2018 Fall Summit. Um, and thinking about it, and we were talking about it, we wanted to kind of give you guys behind the scenes look at what it actually takes to put together a summit, um, what they look like. Uh, well, we're you know kind of wrapping up the last day here at the summit, um, and then uh, also. Encouraging you guys, if you've never made it to the summit, to get out to the one. We're going to have our next summit um, is going to be in early March. And we will announce that uh, later on this afternoon, and then we'll post that everywhere. But we, will, we want to encourage you guys, if you've never been to a summit or you've been, to come out to the next one. Uh, again, we're going to do another one in Salt Lake every year uh, next August. So look forward to that one. But we will be doing another one on the East Coast in March. That announcement will come later. Anyways, follow me. We're going to go take a journey and see what it takes to actually put together uh, a summit. What do you do at the event? I uh, pretty much run the show. No, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> no. Awesome. Awesome. No. Awesome. Just, just help her out. Um, yep. Just uh, help the team get registered, help people that need or have questions. Just All right. Much anything. Thanks, Austin. I appreciate it. We're going to come over here and talk to Todd. Todd, Todd is our MC, Master of Ceremonies, and Todd trades, believe it or not. He does, uh, so Todd, tell us about what you love most about the summits. Um, getting to know everybody that uh, comes to the summit. Okay. You know, all of the, all of the people who I see their screen names, and I don't know what they look like. They look, everybody looks exactly like their screen names. So Crazy Joe, he looks like Crazy Joe. <laughs> and so it's awesome to see everybody get to know him and be able to see what they're, uh, what they're doing and how we can help them. So we've been, we, this is our fourth day at the summit right now, right? Day number four. So um, putting you on the spot just a little bit, but what's your favorite part about this year's summit? Uh, besides my pre presentations? Yeah, yeah, that's not, you can't, you can't okay. have Paul favorites. All right. I, I think the, the, the best part is that because this, I think this is the largest one that we've had, is just being able to see the interaction with everybody. You know, a lot of the presentations that we do, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, those are good and exciting, but as we work with each other and be able to help them implement some of these things and seeing kind of a, that light bulb moment go on, I think that's a fantastic thing to see. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, I've attended quite a few summits just like yourself, and it always, without fail, you always see somebody have that aha moment where they just figured it out. In fact, I was just this morning uh, talking with one of the traders, um, and she said, I figured it out. I know why the reason why I was here, and it just helped me become a better trader. And those comments are I hear all the time. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and seeing people move up, we had uh, Tiffany in here who moved from, into the into gold one so she was very excited about that and we've had m multiple people that have, have moved up in those beeline levels uh just just coming here and uh and working on stuff so is it safe to say that if you're serious about trading you should probably attend one of these summits oh absolutely i think it and even if you're not as serious about it it gets you motivated so that you're excited about what's happening and uh you know i think it puts you to that next level where people need to be where regardless of where you're at Thanks, Todd. I appreciate it. Let's yep. go. Let's go see if we can track down Sean or Nate or somebody, uh, somebody else in here. Actually, we're going to walk right into this room, and this is where the summit happens. You've seen a little bit of it, but right now the traders are broken up into groups. So what that means is they come together and they trade as a group to try to get work together as a team to build a strategy, um, a team strategy. Later on today, we're going to announce the best team of the event, the best strategy of the event. If you come to a summit, you're always going to walk away with a lot of strategies um, and even the best one that we come up with at the summit. So let's go up here and see if we can't uh, interrupt Sean on the stage, see if he'll give us a few minutes. As He's posing, he's posing real fast. Hey, Sean, real fast, we are on YouTube Live doing a live look in, talking about summits. Um, what is your favorite part of a summit? Uh, favorite part of the summit is definitely just getting to know all of our traders. It's awesome. We've got, uh, what, 150 traders here. They're all, uh, you know, during the regular week, we just see your screen names. We see what you chat in the in the uh, in the um, chat box in the in the webinars. But we're getting to know people here, and and some fantastic people here, and that's fun. We trade 
we've been trading what th every morning for three four hours a, a day I mean where do you nobody does that right where, do, where can you go into a big room like this and have 150 computers all hooked to the internet and you know transmitting trades you know I, I'm sure we'll break the billion dollar trademark just in trade flow here at the summit just in this room we'll be processing almost almost a billion dollars if not more uh, of trades in the market that's what I love about I mean just it's the camaraderie it's the trading what more do you want in life that's that's where it's at so do you mind if I ask you a few questions you bet. so how many summits have you actually had do you know that number I think this was the 12th 11th? I don't even okay, know. Okay, we're going to go with more than 10. <laughs> All right, so there's been more than 10 summits, and believe it or not, Sean has attended every single one. <laughs> so what's different or unique about this summit than previous summits, or is there a moment that has stood out to you about this summit in particular than any other summit? Well, I think uh, uh, standout moments, definitely the uh, – we did a trader on the street yesterday with um, – with Alexandra and that was awesome um, but right off the bat right off the bat we were down in the account and so I mean not down just a little we we had blown through five support layers uh, during the uh, during the trading session yesterday with Alexandra and uh, and uh, you know I was right on the threshold of uh, having to book some major losses but fortunately we uh, we found a layer of support, market turned around, turned that corner, and we were able to get out of some of those losing trades. And then we booked a bunch of, of uh, short positions, so we reversed our position and made and and tried to make it on the downs on the on the bearish side. And all of those fired off, and so we ended up with instead of being down on the day, we ended up uh, you know three hundred and something dollars on the day, which was fantastic in that trading session. So that was a that was a real interesting experience because because of the nature of the market, it just we just happened to hit it right during a major spike in the in the market and got caught upside down on some trades, had to work ourselves out of it. So that was fun. Thanks, I appreciate that. I know I, we actually saw that, and it was a lot of fun watching Sean do the trader on the street, and uh, had a lot of fun behind the scenes. You know, pulling off Summit. Speaking of behind the scenes, there's a lot of people that uh, have to come together to put something like this together. Um, if you're sitting out there in YouTube and you're on the fence of whether or not you should attend a summit or not, Sean, why why would you say somebody should attend the summit? I think summits make it real. You know, we the the structure of apiary and the structure of most trading most of the, most of the world, the trading world, is you're stuck in a book, you're stuck on your charts, you're stuck, you know, in a seminar, um, but very little time interacting with other traders that are actually trading. I think one of the greatest things is being able to come and see, you know everyone here is placing trades um, you get to see they're fighting the same challenges that you're fighting you get to see them overcome the same the same hurdles you're overcoming you see them win you see them lose it just makes it so real it's just like you know it, it just it just brings a huge amount of reality to what we do here in the at uh, in the markets so I think that's that's one of the biggest advantages by far of of getting together and trading at a summit like this. Is that? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Sean. Uh, we appreciate your time. And more importantly, we appreciate all the energy and effort that it goes into putting on a summit. And he does it specifically for the traders. Um, not for any other reason, just for the traders. And so thank you. We're going to go take a walk around and meet some of those traders right now and see if we can talk to them and see how they are enjoying the summit. So let's, so let's follow along. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to introduce you to Lexi. Lexi is one, of, maybe your pre-fund manager. Um, explain to us what a pre-fund manager actually is. 
So as a pre-fund manager, we help people get through the beeline to funding as quickly as possible. And we're here if you get stuck on some of the achievements and you need a little extra help, you can email us or call us and we're just really here to help you in whatever way we can, really cheer you on and get you funded. Thank you, Lexi. What's yeah. your, uh, this is your first summit that you've attended with us. Yes. So uh, what do you think? I'm loving it. Summit is so awesome. Not only are you trading live with Sean and Todd and Nate and a bunch of our other professional traders, uh, you get to learn new strategies and really just learn from everyone here. And so it's a really great learning opportunity and it's fun. Thank you, Lexi. I appreciate that. So Todd is making the announcement there's only 30 minutes left in team trading event, okay? So these traders right now, like I said, are broken into teams and they're trying to build the best strategy against the other team. So we kind of have a team competition going on. And so we may or may not be able to talk to them because they may be just really, really dedicated to their team and their trading. Rex. Rex is one of our favorite instructors. In fact, if you are in what we call the partner program, you may or may not have the opportunity to talk to Rex. Um, but Rex, uh, Rex has uh, been with us for a while. I've attended a few summits, but how do you? How is the summit going so far for you? Uh, a lot of fun. I really enjoy. I actually get to put faces uh, to the names that I work with. Uh, we all say we don't look or the way we're supposed to when we see each other. I thought you were taller. I thought maybe you had more hair, but hey, what do you do? Are those, do you get that a lot, Rex? A lot, yeah. yeah. I, I'm a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you're, you are pretty tall. Oh, well. <laughs> not, 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 sh not, tall. not tall, but not short as well. So, oh, we got a, we got a photo op over here. Let's take a look at this real fast. What's going on over there? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people love to love to get their picture taken with Sean because the thing that I hear a lot about Sean um, from the traders is that he's real. He's genuine. He's not something that's untouchable like you might see uh, in the videos or some people have, have thought that or had that preconceived notion that maybe he's not so approachable. But um, in fact, don't take my word for it. I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think about Sean uh, at, here at the summit as you've gotten to know him? I absolutely love Sean. His um, his approach to everything is very personable, and it, it makes it real easy to learn. Yep. Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you enjoying the summit so far? First summit, absolutely love it. Yep. yep. You coming back? Yes, I, I was really considering doing next year too. So I'll probably be here every year. So. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. All right, we're gonna sneak back here real fast and see if we can't uh, talk to uh, Alexandria. Alexandra. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was our latest trader on the street. Her episode will be forthcoming. But uh, she's actually a newer trader with the Apiary Fund. When did you start with the Apiary Fund? In either March or April of this year. Um, okay. So, so she's fairly new. Um, why did you decide to come to a summit? Because I knew that it was going to help me be successful. Okay, so that was her thought coming in. Now, as the summit is concluded, has it helped you, or how has it helped you? Um, it's, oh man, in so many ways. I mean, I, the connections and friends that I've made here are going to be helpful for me to continue forward. Um, people have given me lots of good tips. Getting to trade with Sean gave me insight into scalping because I hadn't had any experience really with that before, and I... Uh, was feeling really not great about finding a strategy that I would like scalping in particular. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I know. I think after the fact, I'm going to look back and realize in so many more ways how it was helpful that I came here. But I'm so excited and I'm sad that it's leaving or that I'm leaving and that it's over. So completely putting you on the spot here, but if you could think of one thing that you've learned that is just a major takeaway from the summit, um, that you're like, hey, this is what I got and maybe other people will get the same thing. Could you think of the, your biggest takeaway from the summit? Um, I think my biggest takeaway is that if I want to really forward my trading skills and, and practice, I need to get up early. Like I, I need to be doing the um, European session into the U.S. session, and I wasn't really doing that before, and so I didn't really see 
why I should have to sacrifice sleep, <laughs> which is really important to me to be able to do that. And now that I've been here and been doing it consistently for the past couple of days, um, I see the value in getting up early to be able to get my practice in and hopefully continue getting better. So you heard it here, the secret to being a successful trader is having a great alarm clock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and maybe setting it like t twice, you know, like. Yeah, having multiple alarm clocks. Or more, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you. Again, Thanks. thank you for participating with us and Trader on the Street as well as coming to the summit. We have people here from all over the world. Um, she's from Dallas, Texas. Um, and then we have a couple ladies. I think the furthest uh, people have come from is Australia. Um, we had... We have people from all over the world. Um, it's exciting. We'll see if we can meet some people um, here along the way. And come back here. Come back to the table. We're going to meet. You saw Ron yesterday. He's our risk manager, but I'm going to ask him a few questions. So what does a risk manager actually do? Well, let's find out real fast. Mr. Ron Evans. Um, Mind if I ask you a few questions here? Sure. Ron Evans, like I said, is a risk manager. What is a risk manager for the Apiary Fund, and what exactly do you do for the Apiary Fund? I uh, monitor the, the fund to find out which traders are taking too much risk and getting themselves locked out or trades stopped out. And I approve increases uh, in the accounts that are doing well. Um, and I monitor strategies to make sure that they're not taking on too much risk when they do their trades. So is it true that you're also responsible for increasing people's accounts? Yes, that is true. So would it be safe to say that you accept bribes? No. Oh, <laughs> cookies? <laughs> I'll take cookies, but it won't do you any good, <laughs> except in my stomach. <laughs> so Ron Evans is not actually probably the biggest reason why the Apiary Fund, um, outside of Sean, is so successful is because he manages the risk of our traders. Some traders are really really successful and some traders need some help to be to getting to that level and so ron says here's what you need to do in order for you to become successful and for the ones that are successful uh, what do you tell those guys thank you <laughs> that it's actually really true and deep because they say thank you because that's how our fund grows is for traders just like you um, who grow the fund and open up new positions for new traders who are not yet funded or will be funded pretty soon um, if you could give somebody just starting out maybe some advice and a couple words what would it, what would that be be patient take it slow don't try to do too much at once I would agree with that, and that's a really wise and true statement. Um, all right, so who is the worst trader in the Apiary Fund? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <That's laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't want to put him, we're not putting anybody on blast, but we do have a lot, a lot of awesome traders, and it's thanks to the risk manager that we're able to fund more traders on a daily basis. So thank you, Ron. Thank you. All right, walking over here real fast, we have Nate Allred. You saw him yesterday. Um, Nate Allred, uh, I'm going to give him an opportunity to explain what he is or what he does for the Apiary Fund, and then also give us some uh, thoughts of this year's summit compared to the other summits. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you. Um, uh, what I do at the Apiary Fund, I'm one of the traders. I, I'm one of the principal traders here at the uh, fund. Um, I'm in charge of... of content and material that, that goes out, making sure that what we teach is the right material, that it, that it works, that the, the students are, and traders are able to understand it. Um, my thoughts on, on the summit has been one of the best summits that we've had. We have uh, more people than we've ever had. Uh, we've pushed more volume through the fund than we've, than we've ever done. Um, and yesterday we took a straw poll. Over 70% of the people who are here and these are beginning traders. These aren't people who have, you know, we have a couple, probably five, who have been with us more than a year or two. But most, by far and away, the most people who are here have, have been here less than a year. Um, you think about that, you have a, a, a new trader, a young trader, um, not, not age-wise, but experience-wise. You have a young, inexperienced trader, and they're making money. 
um, it's because what we do works and as long as they follow that recipe of success uh, we know that they're going to be that they're going to be successful so I always encourage people to make it a point to come to these summits uh, because by far and away it will revolutionize the the way that, that you trade so thank, thank, thank you Thanks, Nate. I appreciate it. And we had the opportunity to meet with the risk, risk manager, pre-fund manager, head trader, Sean Lucas, Nate Allred, who um, is one of the principals with the Apiary Fund, our support staff. But more importantly, we met with some new traders. Um, I want to see if we can find a trader that has actually been with us for a length of time. So let's walk over here and let's see if uh, we can find some veteran traders that have been traded with the Apiary Fund for a little while. Oh, I see one. I'm on the hunt, but I, I do see one. Mr. Dave. Aye, aye, sir. Do you have a second? I can ask you a few questions. Sure. All right. How's your team? How's your team doing right now? Where's your other teammate? Uh, he's not feeling good. Oh, that's too bad. The smoke's bothering him. So how's how's your team doing? Uh, well, we're doing okay. We were uh, up and down and. Um, we're doing a team effort of scanning different underlines, uh, UCAD, uh, Euro dollar, pound, and pound yen, and we're calling out setups for our system. It's a simple flag uh, and horizontal breakout system, and then uh, we're, I'm just I'm managing the account. So the last you've been to three summits now. Four this summits. is number four. Number four. Okay. The last summit your team took first place. Yes. In the company. <laughs> yes. Is that going to happen again this year? Are you going to stay on top? Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think those guys got us beat over there. They eat the old guys. So we're, we got a trade on right now that's going to make some money. So um, we'll give them a run for their money. So, so uh, you, this is your fourth summit. I actually met Dave yes. in Austin, I believe. Right? That's correct. Austin, March of uh, last year. Um, and. At that point in Austin, when you first came on, how how uh, how long have you been with Apiary when you and I first met in Austin? Uh, I joined Apiary in, in um, it was Thanksgiving Day of uh, 2016. So I, I had been with Apiary for, for four months, basically three months, because uh, that was in the beginning of March, right? Yeah middle of March, something like that. So it was three months, a little over three months. So I had the opportunity to meet with Dave in Austin uh, three months after he signed up with the Apiary Fund. But what's interesting about Dave is that he's come to every subsequent summit and him and I have had the opportunity to talk and to kind of follow his journey. And so I love telling people's stories. Um, but if you could tell your story about how uh, you, you, how your journey has been with the Apiary Fund up to, to this point, um, could you just share a little bit of insight with that with us? Um, sure. I, I thought the Beeline training program was excellent. I was able to, to work through that. I was an experienced trader, so that helped. Um, but the uh, program made me try things that I had never really thought about trying before. Um, it's made me a much better uh, uh, long-term investor, for sure. Um, it's made me a, a much better uh, technical analyst, and um, which are two of my skill sets. And um, we'll see... Uh, I got funded in six months, and uh, then I've gotten a couple of promotions since. Um, and uh, I, I've been in a bit of a batting slump lately, but uh, I'm working with the coaches and the instructors to to work through that. And uh, I love it. I enjoy it. I think the people are great here, especially you. <laughs> um, Shameless plug. I'm speechless. You know, I've been a most. I think it's safe to say that everybody that joins with the Apiary Fund or finds in the beginning onset is joining Apiary Fund for the opportunity to trade our money, right? Would, yes. the, would you agree with that statement? That's what kind of attracts people into the hive, into the fund. Um, and one of the, I guess, questions, the biggest questions that a lot of traders have out there um, in the world that aren't, may or may not be a part of Apiary Fund is that does Apiary Fund actually fund you? Do you actually get paid? Um, can you make money with the Apiary Fund? Can you get a check? Right? These questions are, are uh, on, question ongoing. Too. And that's what I was going to say. That was The very first time that I met with Dave, he's like, well, I want to test this and see if, it's, if, it's, if, if, it, if it is what you guys are saying it is. So uh, with that, I'm going to pose that as a question. How, how has 
that part been? Do we do what we say? And uh, let me let me uh, let Dave answer. That. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that was the big question. When I started, I had been with other organizations that did not do what they said. And uh, when I came here, that was a big concern. I was very open and honest about it, and they were very open and honest about it, too. I've worked with um, the, the uh, founders of the company. Uh, I've worked with um, Ron, who is the uh, risk manager. And um, I was with a trading group by myself before I came here and each one of them is a member there's four of us now and we're all we're all in the hive now and uh, two of them uh, two of us are funded and uh, it was it was a big deal when we got our first paychecks and uh, it, it was impre it was great it was great I mean it made it all real and uh, you know once you meet once I met you guys I had no doubt that it was real but to, to get that was the icing on the cake and that that kind of finished it up so Thank you, Dave. I really appreciate that and all your comments. It's good to see yeah, you. it's good to see you. And uh, uh, we'll uh, see you at the next summit. See you bring me luck. Trade there you go. This is the, how to be a professional trader. It's one move right here. The best trader. You just got to love your computer. Give us some love. The, the trade's going to go up. And we'll see if you guys are going to take the top spot. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um, let's see if we can... If there's anything else, but basically at the summits, they're just awesome, right? I mean, it's a culmination of all like-minded people in a room. And I think we have about 140 traders in this room at a college. We like to do it at colleges and we will always continue to do it at colleges for one reason is because colleges are built for education. They don't allow um, companies to come in and sell. This is not a sell seminar. You're not going to get upsold at the summit. But what you will get is education, knowledge, and experience, and hopefully you'll walk away with a few friends that you have that you can trade with for life, right? All right. Here is my favorite Australian. <laughs> I don't know too many Australians, but the ones I do, she is my favorite. <laughs> You've only got one of two. <laughs> the other one's not here, so you yeah. have to yes. say that. <laughs> when she does come back, she is my, she's still my favorite, but she's not going to hear that, right? <laughs> How is, uh, how's your trade trading going? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, terrible today, but yeah, anyway. That's how's okay. your team doing? Team of one. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going out by yourself, huh? Yeah? Are you, um, how's the summit so far? Brilliant. Brilliant, really, yeah. really good. Yeah, I've had a couple of aha moments, so can't wait to get home and put it to practice. So would you say that being here has definitely made a change in your trading? Absolutely. How? Before I left home, I thought, oh, I don't, I don't know, uh, you know. But, um, yeah, it has It's consolidated a lot of things for me. And um, as I said, I've had aha moments, several of them, and... Um, yeah, it's, um, I'm seeing results. That's cool. So who's your favorite instructor? I have to say Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one for Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we do have a lot of instructors and I put people on the spot, but what has been your favorite moment you think of the summit so far? Mm, um, I don't I suppose um, Todd's presentation on the uh, HMA, yeah, yeah, because that was, I'd looked at it before, but now I'm putting it into practice. It's kind of what you needed to hear, huh? Yeah, that well, was one of the other. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you doing that, so appreciate it. All right, so um, we're just going to walk back through the doors to the, to the staff real fast. So like I said, like, like I said, summits are a great place to come together as a team of traders, team of professionals that are willing to help you. So if you are truly on the fence about attending a summit, our next one is gonna be in March, like I said. Do whatever it takes to get here. Get into a funded account. I've had, um, one of my favorite stories personally is I met somebody at a summit once that was from Mexico, a school teacher in Mexico, that wanted to attend a summit so bad that he drove himself to get funded. He, and he decided that he was gonna take his money that he made from Apiary 
to pay for his way, his plane ticket, his hotel, everything to get to the summit because he wanted to do it so bad. Um, if, if that's you, do what it takes to make enough money in the, in the trading account to get to the summits because they will elevate your trading. Um, that being said, uh, we're going to call it here at, at the summit. We're going to wrap up today, and then we'll be back next week with our next YouTube Live um, next Wednesday at noon. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for um, being a part of the Apiary Fund. So we appreciate that, and have a good day.